Okay, so for those of you that have actually been following along, if you would have watched the last video, you'd know that we was over here talking about another fish tank that a buddy's going to build. Well, we got that tank. I think we said it was a 55 gallon. We totally lied about yeah. that. I do apologize. It is actually a 29 gallon tank. Yeah. 29 gallon tank so as you see it still has some stuff in it he's got his rocks in there it's got everything you got a couple what a couple shells in there yeah a couple shells are in there whoops i'm all in the shadow yeah. oh, no, there's quartz in there there's riverbed rock or river rock uh shoreline rock from local lakes I and mean, those shells are actually from the ocean uh there's actual you could call it mine quartz or whatever, but those quartz, the ice quartz pieces. Ice quartz pieces? Mm-hmm. And then there's one right there, and there's another in the middle. Okay, cool, cool, well, cool. Now so, those, um, actually, I'm, so I believe that those help with balance and energy inside the aquarium as well with the life and all. Okay, so on this tank, are you going to put, you're going to do some plants, some real plants? Um, all real plants. That right there is only going to be in there to provide shelter for some little stuff some little stuff or maybe some shrimp or something those or guys something yeah. like that what kind of shrimp you like doing i like red shrimp you like red shrimp like the cherry shrimp yes okay because okay. they're very active and they're very colorful it's actually what i had in my tank but uh <laughs> well if they've been watching the last video i told you i lost some shrimp so <laughs> you know things happen but you know we're going to see what he does with this so well, i love cherry shrimp because they swim a lot yeah they do, and I, I really, I, I really, really like my red cherry shrimp. Let me go ahead and say, because mm -hmm. they're they're real bright and they're real pretty, and they do actually clean a little bit. You know, they eat they're very so. Active. Yeah, they're very active. They swim around, but uh, I don't have them anymore. But you know, stuff happens. So what we got here? You think there's a little calcium on here? Yeah, calcium. Uh, a little bit of calcium, probably a little bit of, because it sat for a little bit with uh, no power, so that's probably also a little bit of older algae build up or something but some good hot water a little good treatment and everything's going to take it off there i don't use chemicals though so this process is going to be a little bit um i call it set and let it's going to be a little bit less work but it's going to take a little bit more time okay so no no white vinegar no nothing to clean it off nothing like that and just tiniest bit but not much no okay hot hot water boiling hot water almost but not quite because you don't want to ruin your seams right in here so you let it cool yeah. down a little bit yeah, you don't want those, uh, yeah. I but know. that kind of hot water is going to kill things, and then you can let your everything kind of establish itself naturally. Your plants are going to do a lot of fighting. Uh, they also do a lot of absorption. Your filter is going to pull out stuff, you know, but it's to each their own. A lot of people, especially nowadays, want to build something fast, so, you know, those, those additives will help with that, but I stay away from any kind of chemicals. See, now, y'all hear him talking, and y'all, if y'all were actually watching, you know I do things a whole, a whole different way. I use a little bit of uh, dechlorinator, you know, I, I, I put chemicals in, but everybody does it their own way, and I'm interested to see how this guy does it, because I think everybody I watch pretty much does what I do, you know what I mean? Like, because I don't, I haven't ventured off to any other videos I'm like that. I'm gonna let the rocks take care of it, basically. That's cool, that's cool. So this is gonna be real interesting. So hopefully we can actually get some good shots of this. Now I do work a full-time job, so I don't expect them to wait for me to get off work, but <laughs> Sundays, man, I get a Sunday off. So I think we'll be able to come over here and record a few things and see if we can get a process going. Yeah, we can get it started this Sunday. I think it'll be really, really interesting for you guys to see somebody else's work off of my page too, the way somebody else does it. Because like I've said before, there is so many different ways you can do this fish tank stuff and if you guys really enjoy doing the fish tank stuff just get your sleeves wet just dive in man have fun with it you don't have to follow anybody's rules screw rules do it the way you want to do it also just let anybody know if you happen to have high blood pressure or anything like that uh, yeah i did kind of say it weird english messed up on me but high blood pressure um it's actually proven that sitting and watching your aquarium for about 15 to 30 minutes a day will lower your blood pressure it's good to know good to know probably does a lot of things stress and anxiety mm -hmm. probably help you out i know i don't turn my tv on as much since i got a fish tank in my room i don't yeah, know how you are that's a good are. thing that's a good thing. you know i haven't had tv in like 10 years oh, true true <laughs> i keep forgetting but yeah anyways that's uh pretty much how i'm going to end this video hopefully i can get some pretty decent shots and i really would like to get a lot of stuff that he's saying recorded because he does his a whole different process and his process is actually really good i've seen him do it before i know he knows what he's doing so Hopefully you guys like the videos that I can put up with this guy. 
But as usual, if you like these videos, hit that like button, maybe subscribe, maybe even hit that bell so you get up. Ah, I can't even talk neither. <laughs> so you get notified every time I upload a video. I'll see you guys in the next one.